We're here in San Antonio, Texas with the National Digital Navigator Corps, bringing together 18 organizations from across the US, rural communities and tribal communities Pottsboro is a rural town. We're about 90 miles north of Dallas, and sometimes I say it's like driving back in time and not in a good way. Access to infrastructure is a huge barrier to people. Whatever problem you have, if you don't have digital inclusion, your problem is worse, and that's true in Pottsboro. The National Digital Navigator Corps helps us to reach our goal of digital equity by providing financial resources, a staff position, peer support, and community resources so that we can continue to provide excellent service to the Gila River Indian community. We serve a community in South Central Iowa that is very rural. We have three counties, Taylor, Ringgold, and Decatur County. I'm really excited to bring the opportunities to the communities and really make an economic and a future impact so that we can bring younger community members back to us and we can really flourish in the Midwest. We have a lot of covered populations in Maine that we need to have effective strategies with. And so talking to people who have experience with those populations is very helpful. Our population, like so many in this program, are very rural. The county that we're focusing on, Washington County in Eastern Maine, is very rural, has just over 10 people per square mile. And if you want to connect with family and friends or work remotely or expand your business beyond the local economy, you're gonna need to know how to get online and how to use the tools that are available. In the greater Houston area, we of course have a lot of people in urban settings, but we also have a lot of rural outlying areas. A lot of those are veterans that are older and don't know a lot about technology and are living in those rural areas and don't understand maybe how having different technologies could help them with their everyday lives and make things easier for them as they age in place. Alaska is very big. We have a lot of challenges in terms of connectivity, climate, very hard to reach isolated places. So this program is going to help us get to them easier. During the pandemic, we learned that digital equity is as important as water. People were given devices sent home from school. Children struggled, parents struggled. People couldn't see their doctors. Places were closed. Banks were open. You couldn't go into the lobbies. It just really showed how much more work we needed to do. My community is the Umatilla Indian Reservation in Northeastern Oregon. We are actually fairly new to the digital inclusion world. We've been doing things on our reservation that I think are aimed towards digital inclusion. We just didn't really call it that. So we're now learning about that and we're able to bring enhanced services for our elders and our community members who've been kind of left behind in some areas. And so we're really happy to have our digital navigator, Melinda, on board. And she's a member of our community, our staff, we all live in work there on the reservation, so I think we have a pretty good feel for what our community needs and how to go about helping them. The National Digital Navigator Corps enables me, for one, to have a job where I can teach those digital skills classes and I can help our clients upload their documents into our software so that they can gain affordable housing, even to weatherize their homes, to be able to be a first time home buyer. So it's providing those digital skills along with those devices that help everyone that comes into our community service programs of West Alabama. Providing the uh, position uh, is grant funded for the next uh, two and a half years. We're hopeful that you know we'll be able to keep it funded after that. But in the interim, for the next two and a half years, we'll be able to focus on getting tribal elders signed up with an internet service provider, whether it be with us or somebody else. Uh, there are other options in our community and get them qualified for the affordable connectivity program so we can get that credit, which is $75 in native communities. But once we get them on board with an internet service provider, being able to go to school online, being able to get in contact with family via Zoom, whatever the case may be, it's just, you know, bring, bringing everybody up to speed. 
Digital equity is definitely important in our community. Uh, we have great broadband in the counties that I work in, but not a lot of people know about connecting to like federal assistance programs like the ACP or like how they can utilize the internet um, either to like get their GED or like get a college degree or even just like to connect with family. So that's why it's important to us and making sure that people have those skills. So the National Digital Navigator Corps is helping us uh, with this because people have questions and they're, you know, afraid of their devices and providing somebody who they know who to go to and know who to ask, they now have somebody who can teach them these digital skills to either learn how to use their devices or interact better or even just, you know, get to know each other through an online space. I'm excited about this conference and net inclusion because I will be happy to have some support and tools to take back to help our community and organization. The National Digital Navigator model was really developed during the pandemic in 2020 and really at that time shone a light on the fact that many people across the country did not have access to devices, did not have access to the internet and did not have the skills to do it. And the pandemic really shone a light on the fact that we need these activities to fully participate in everyday life. Whether it's a telehealth appointment, scheduling a vaccine appointment, doing remote learning or schooling, getting your GED, things like that. And so the digital navigator model itself really brings together a trusted community member to step forward working with a trusted organization in the community and is that voice and resource for people who need to know how to access the internet and use it and feel comfortable and are in a safe space to get what they need to participate online like we all do.